Hi, I'm Paul. So today is the 15th of July, 2022. What time is it? It's 20 past 12 in the afternoon, you yeah, know, dinner time. So today is the four year anniversary of my mum's death. Now, I had PTSD after my mum and Orion died and it left me really ill. So today I want to celebrate in style and I am doing with an unboxing. Now it's an e-scooter. So quickly tell you about e-scooters. Right, the last e-scooter I had was a Kugu and I ended up selling it to build the Orange 5V mountain bike which then I didn't end up building and finishing off because it was too heavy to get up and down the stairs. So got rid of the scooter for nothing really to build a bike that didn't get built. <laughs> Anyway, that was my last scooter. So this scooter is an E100 Eagle. I've got it from Shield Auto Care on eBay and I ordered it on Wednesday. It's Friday now, it come this morning, first thing with DHL and it's gonna be an unboxing, test, review, whatever you wanna call it. Hello you, here she is. She's been cheeky today, haven't you? We've had windows refitted, they fitted the windows wrong and um, they've come and fitted them today so I have been really busy, been up from 6 o'clock. Anyway, don't know why I'm sidetracking, let's unbox it. Here she is, she loves a good unboxing. Right, so why I've bought this e-scooter on the 16th, which is tomorrow, Saturday, is this channel's eighth birthday so i've been doing this channel for eight years i did have a few channels before this and yeah they never did any good and i stuck at this one and i've stuck at it for eight years so i bought myself a bit of a celebration present so if you subscribed in them eight years massive thanks really appreciate it and thanks for joining me on this youtube journey it's been awesome Anyway, I look over the scooter as you get it out of the box. So, I talked over getting it out. Yeah, it's fairly easy, basic. So, as you can see, it's an E100 Eagle. Yeah, it's got disc brakes, like I said. Front suspension forks. And here's a closer look. It's got nice chunky tyres on it. I don't know why the front tyre looks bigger than the back one. But, well, the wheel size, but I'm not sure. Right, so I set it up. Put the stem up on the seat and the handlebars. Quickly show the instructions. And I start to fit the handlebars. I get my own Allen key set, even though it does come with Allen keys and a spanner. I put the handlebars on like this and it's a mistake, did that wrong. I should have took the plastic off the display and looked at the display first because I've realised the display actually goes on the top two bolts of the stem. So made that mistake as you can see there, they line up with that. So you take them two bolts out which should have been put in first. Yeah, I made the mistake. Anyway, there it is done quick easy job and yeah you should read the instructions before but what men read instructions <laughs> and here are the instructions just lay on the floor right there's a seat so nice big chunky seat with a split in the middle and you've got a bag there and inside the bag is the charger and the little bracket that you put the seat on and a little tool bag so it's in slow mo so i'll quickly jump to the bag being opened right and here it is in slow mo again i've gone a bit mad with the slow mo on this camera so here's the charger and all the stuff that comes in the box So I've always done this with scooters, I plug it in with the switch turned off and then I connect it into the scooter and if there's going to be any shorts it'll lure through the plug system, the electric system and then I just turn it on 
I do this because the mate X used to spark and you'd get a big spark off it. Anyway, here I am fitting a little bracket that comes on that holds the seat on. I mean, I'm messing about for a good while with the base of the seat holder and it wobbles a bit. So I'm going to have to take it off and I'll do a separate um video of me fixing it because it's got a slight wobble and i know how to fix it i'm just not doing it in this video and it's got a shock suspension seat and there you can see it's plugged in and it's fully charged didn't take long actually i didn't time it but it was less than two hours so there it is charged right i'll quickly show it Play some music. Right, it's a bit different than standard scooters. It's not got a footboard in the middle that you stand on. It's got these paddles on each side and it gives your feet quite a wide distance, what hopefully should be better for balance. Now, I've YouTube this scooter, I've a search and I can't find anything on it. So I think this is gonna be the only video on YouTube on the E100 Eagle. Now, I don't know why, because they sell it in shops online when I was searching, and I just chose to buy it from eBay, because it was the cheapest. So, dual suspension at the back, them rings at the bottom, you can tighten them up or loosen them to set your suspension. So, it's got a rear swing arm, it's tubular, don't know whether it's steel or aluminium. Um, can't find much info on it, really, like I've said. People love this peeling the cellophane off stuff and it's in slow-mo. Trouble is I recorded on my camera and it's got no sound, so if that's your fetish, I'm sorry. <laughs>
on off switch for the lights the little yellow buttons are horn you come over here it's got gears one two and three and it's a throttle on the grip half grip throttle i think they call them or i don't know it's less than half but yeah i don't know why i'm babbling on about that grip throttle <laughs> Right, I should have read the instructions there. I wanted to open the battery box and show you the battery because the battery actually comes out of it. But yeah, I really struggled and it took some time. So if you're going to do that, read the instructions. You turn the key, a little stud pops out and you should be able to open it. And then to close it, I struggled again because I couldn't get the stud to go in. So I thought you press it in with your thumb, but you don't. You turn the key and somehow the mechanism closes it. And yeah, jobs are good and but yeah, bit of a struggle. But yeah, not reading the instructions, it's my own fault and there it is shut. Right, so it's a key ignition. And there you can see, big nice display and it's in kilometres an hour. So I'll have to work out how to change that. And I don't know what the display is called. Um, so I'll have to do a bit of research in that. So I'll have to leave it in kilometres an hour for the first couple of rides. Unless I find out. But like I said, nothing online about this. You can just buy it. No information. Right. So there you can see it working. I flip through the gears. One, two and three with a little switch. The light comes on there and the display dims a bit and you can see the blue display icon light up and that's it. Flow quiet. <sighs> Starts when I'm filming. Right, okay. So I was going to do a... <sighs> Shut up! Right, okay, so I was going to have a test ride in this video, but I want to save it till a first ride video. First ride videos are always more popular, so I'm going to do a first ride video on it, and this is the end of the video now. You've been watching me, Paul, unboxing the Eagle E100. I found out it's also modelled as a PXID F1 and also a Challenger Pro, so realise that. So if you're new to this channel and the content, it's e-bikes, e-scooters, dogs, Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for future future updates. So if you're already subscribed, a massive thanks for sticking around these eight years and joining me on this journey. Okay, so the next video will be a ride on the Eagle E100. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.